<clears throat> Hello. Uh, I've left it a little bit late in the day to be recording this tutorial, so I'm actually just going to do something really quite quick and quite basic. I'm going to do uh, terminals, and I'm going to show everything that can be done with a terminal. So, which is, well, terminals are quite, you know, they're quite versatile, they have a lot of different things. You can display texts, you can run scripts, you can have submenus, and because you can run scripts, obviously you can do anything. You can add items to the player, you can set a stage of a quest. So I'm going to do, you know, all those different things. So first of all, we're going to want to find a suitable terminal because we're going to duplicate it to make sure that it has an in-game model. So just this generic one from Vault 111 uh, should be suitable for tutorial purposes. And we're going to give it a new ID, which I'm going to call Tutorial Terminal. And I'm just going to leave its name as Computer Terminal. And we're going to delete anything uh, related to its previous use. So we're going to delete Welcome Vault over here. We're going to delete Unlock Item, Unlock Door. I'm just going to hit OK, and yes, we want to create a new form. And here it is, Tutorial Terminal. We can go back inside. And now we're going to want to look at these uh, menu items. And these are basically the buttons that will appear when you uh, look at the terminal. And whatever order you create these in is the order they will show up in game. So first of all, I'm going to make one, a new one. And this will all be available now here. And we're going to want, first of all, I'm just going to do a generic one that just shows a response text. So what this means is when I click on it, a little thing will appear at the bottom and just save this response text. And so I'm going to put, say, for example, give me caps. And then the response text will be giving caps. And I'm going to run up a Papyrus fragment on this one. So I'm going to click properties. And I'm going to add a property a misc object property because I'm going to be pointing to the misc object cap 001 that's that says pass and because we've given it the same name as the misc object it's going to point us automatically to the misc object cap 001 and so now I'm just going to put game dot get player open brackets close brackets dot add item open brackets caps 001 comma 100 compile and we could just keep on and on and on hitting that and we could get infinite caps if we wanted. Now another thing we can do is we could set a stage of a quest. So I'm just going to hit OK and I'm going to create a little quest that won't do anything at all uh, except for... Um, I'm just going to save my thing. Except for uh, set stage 10. Like just, this is just going to be for demonstration purposes. So if I right click new, I will just call it tutorial terminal quest we have a priority of 45 I mean for, for tutorial purposes that's fine tutorial uh, terminal yeah there you go now I'm going to give it a quest stages and I'm going to give it a stage 10 we've used the terminal and set objective displayed 10 compile that's worked fine and we'll just create a new objective so that something actually shows up to display and this is just you know we've used the terminal and I'm just gonna make it a misc quest so that it will just appear in the player's miscellaneous section it won't be like a fully fledged quest this is just you know it won't even work because this is just random demonstration and so we're going to hit terminal tutorial terminal and I'm going to press start request response text can be quest starting dot 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 and we're going to add another property so this time we're going to hit add property and we're going to look for a quest property because we want to point it to a quest and I called it tutorial terminal quest okay and because I gave it the same name it will automatically point to tutorial terminal quest and I'm just going to put tutorial terminal quest dot set stage 10 compile there we go and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to condition this so that it only shows up when the stage doesn't equal 10. So I'm going to put new, I'm going to put get stage 
um, we'll get a look for the idea of a quest tutorial terminal quest has to equal zero so i.e. the quest has to have not been started and so now I'm going to create another one which is going to be identical start the quest let's give this one a capital Q as well just for neatness sake and it's just going to show quest already running dot 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 right click new and we're going to do a get stage for the quest that we made before um, tutorial terminal quest has to equal 10 or you could just put not you could put not equals 0 actually uh, if you put because but for my purposes equals 10 and not equals 0 are the same because there's only stage 10 but if you want it to uh, this to only show up when you haven't started the quest or wait, this, this to only show up when you have started the quest click doesn't equal 0 I'm just going to go back up to here, and if we click Force Redraw, what this means is when you click that, the whole terminal will kind of reset and it will recalculate all the conditions. So that will mean that this will go away and this will appear because we forced a redraw. Now I'm going to do one now that will show a sort of a wall of text. So I'm going to put Show me the text. And now we're going to click Display Text. And I'm the old Fallouts, so you would have to like point it to a note to display. But this time we're gonna, we, you can just type as much text in here as you want. This is the text I want to show. And that will come up and yeah, that'll be that. And now another thing we can do with a terminal is we can also get it to show a submenu. So we're going to click out now and we're going to create a submenu for our terminal. Now, we don't need to duplicate an existing one because submenus uh, will never be seen, it physically seen in game, so we don't actually have to have a model. So we can just right click like this and give it a new ID tutorial terminal menu 01. And I don't think it really needs a name, and we're going to just put a new menu item, um, new menu item. Um, just call it this is as it can say anything so show me the text this is part of the sub menu will appear down at the bottom there and so now we're just going to hit OK and once again I'm going to save my plugin so now I've returned back up gone to the wrong one so here we go. So now we're going to go to the one which we want to. We haven't created it yet. We're going to right click new and we're going to create a whole new entry and we're just going to call it show me the sub menu. And it's all sub menu is already checked. So we can go down here and look for the one we created before. Tutorial terminal menu 01. So we're going to hit that. And so now when we click this, this sub menu will show up. And there's one final thing we can do. We can also set it so that a terminal already holds a holo holotape. So if I click holds holotape here, we can select anything out of this list. So I'm going to hit atomic command holotape game like that. And if we want to be able to just load a holotape in, we can leave that blank. But we are going to have one already exist in there. And we're just going to put atomic for the purposes. And so... We get a these header and welcome text basically what will appear at the very top. So I'll just put um this is the tutorial terminal and then I'm gonna put uh just welcome to the tutorial terminal like that. And now I'm going to save and I'm gonna go and put it in the game now. Alright, so I've come to Abernathy Farm and I'm gonna wanna try and find somewhere suitable. This is an absolute mess. Okay, their, their table in here should be suitable. So I'm going to click and drag in tutorial terminal. Right, here, we, here we go. Oops, my mouse has gone a bit messed up there. And we're going to want to... This has got a wire down the back. Uh, so it'll probably want to be somewhere where the wire isn't, you know... Isn't clipping through something, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to delete this stuff off their table again. You know, this is just my tutorial save, so I can just mess it up if I want to. So click and drag back. It's somewhere relatively suitable. If you put markers on, 
we can see sort of where you would have to sit to use it and that looks all fine doesn't it so now I'm going to nip into the game and we'll have a look about working so I'm back at Abernathy farm and here is the tutorial terminal and as you can see it's got its holotape atomic command in it so we can boot that right out and we could load in another holotape if we wanted uh, we could put atomic command back in and oop, we're, right, we're playing atomic command that's not what I wanted to do so let's give me caps oh yeah and now we go back home let's start the quest the quest has been started we've used the terminal and if I start the quest now it just says terminal quest already running if only you'd been here when those raiders first now we can show me the text this is the text I wanted to show there we go you have to press I kept I kept exiting if you press enter then it goes through but I kept accidentally exiting no. This one isn't. This one's making me exit, but that one's letting me go forward. That's weird. And now I can show myself the sub menu. Show me the text. This is part of the sub menu. And now I'm back out of the sub menu because I pressed back. I can give myself caps. So yeah, that's basically it working. And you can see the two different texts I put. This is the tutorial terminal. Welcome to the tutorial terminal. Not bad. And yeah, basically that is everything working, so... And we can, yeah, we can just... You don't need to put... I was wondering, do we need to put a back option to get back off the sub-menu? But we can just go press tab and go back. Yeah, so all that's working fine. So yeah, hopefully that was useful, hopefully that was clear. Um, told me what you did I'll probably us. do something a little bit better next time, but I left I it a little bit too much, late without, um, any trading you want to without do, thinking of something to do. So thank you for watching and goodbye.